The opinions expressed on this program are solely those of individual participants and do not necessarily reflect the views of either Spectrum Generations or Time Warner Cable. Mature Lifestyle is made possible by Hollywood Slots of Bangor, where every player's a star, and by Knowlton Hewins Roberts Funeral Homes and Cremation Service. Our homes are warm and welcoming, and we take care of you and your family like we would our own. Call us anytime. We are here for you. Welcome to Mature Lifestyle. If you've been out today leaf peeping or uh, going on a hayride, it's time to come back into the kitchen. I'm Dot Freeman and the lady to my left is Cynthia Finnamore Simons and she may be a familiar face to many of you, probably so. Uh, you've seen her on uh, main public broadcasting with her show Fresh to Flavorful and you also may have read her books, her cookbooks on salads, desserts and soups uh, published by Downey's Press. Downey's Books. Welcome, Cynthia. Thank you. So we are at Lowe's, and Lowe's has put together a fabulous set for us that includes uh, GE Profile appliances. We have an induction cooktop uh, that boils water in 90 seconds, and you can put your hand on it, and it won't burn your hand. Uh, and that's the extent of my knowledge about cooking, but <laughs> Cynthia's here. And you're going to talk with us about salads and uh, good hearty fare for October in Maine. So. Absolutely. We have so many wonderful ingredients here that are local to Maine. And there are many farmers that are actually growing the finer greens, the microgreens, all year round. Microgreens? Mm -hmm. So What's the that? baby greens, the first tender shoots that come up when they grow. And those are some of the sweetest, most delicate, ah. wonderful leaves to eat. So today we're going to make a salad. And one of the things that you can do with salad at home is make your own dressing. People have different likes and dislikes, and I like to make sure that when I have folks coming for supper, I kind of quiz them ahead of time a little bit to find out what they like. Aha. Uh -huh. And so for salad today, we're going to keep it simple. We've got some greens here. I'm gonna cut up a cucumber. All right. And do you like tomatoes? I do. Why don't you sprinkle a few tomatoes onto the salad All there? All right. Is this sprinkling? Very good. Okay. See, you don't have to be afraid of cooking now, at all. Now, Cynthia, you have, you have a, a favorite quote. Tell us what that quote is. Oh, it's, it, I have a favorite quote about uh, enjoying my existence, and I don't think I can quote it off the top of my head to you, but it really is, uh, I'm so lucky. I get to cook, which I love to do. I get to be with my family, who I love very much, and I get to swing dance, which is my other passion. Oh, we'll have Wonderful. to do dancing Wonderful, absolutely. Someday. <laughs> so uh, the other thing we can add to salad are some soft herbs, so cilantro or tarragon or basil or parsley. Uh -huh. So if you want to take a few of those herbs, and that's basil, uh -huh. and just rip them up and put them right on the salad. Okay, yeah. rip them up. Rip them up. I have a favorite quote. You do? I do. Those who can, cook. Those who can't, eat. <laughs> okay, this is good. This is cooking? This what is I'm cooking. doing is cooking? Yes, yes, no preservatives. Ah. Yep, you can make your own salad dressing at home. And I'm chopping up some garlic while you're tearing up that basil. Uh huh. And terrific. Does it smell good? Far, yeah, great. One really easy way to make dressing is to use a little jar. Uh -huh. And you can use an empty jelly jar or you can use a mason jar. Okay. So I put a little chopped garlic in there. Uh -huh. And then we're going to add some mustard. This is not French's mustard, is it? The, Dijon. Dijon. Yeah, very good. Okay. Some shallot, which is like a little baby onion. I was going to say, what's the difference between an onion and a shallot? Shallots are, are very tiny. They're French. Oh. And they, are, they look just like little tiny red onions. Okay. But they're very potent. And I don't know if you can, can you smell that? The onion smell? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Smells like onion and 
garlic. <laughs> Dijon. We're going to add a little bit of honey. This is raw honey. Raw honey. And, which, and what, what's the difference between raw and There's all and raw. sorts of good nutrients that are in oh. raw honey that, that they cook out. when they. So we're eating healthy. In addition to being lovely, this is beautiful, but this is healthy. Absolutely. Okay. We get a little tarragon, another one of those soft herbs. And we could have put that right in the salad. Mm -hmm. Some red wine vinegar. Okay. Some lemon juice. Lemon juice. Some parsley. Parsley. And a little bit of olive oil. And does it matter what kind of olive oil, a virgin, extra virgin? It really doesn't. It's, okay. it's to your taste. A lot of people like the, um, the extra virgin olive oil because it's a little fruitier. Fruitier. Mm. And we had a cover here just a moment ago, but we're just going to shake it up like okay. this. Do you think we have enough tomatoes? I think you could we sprinkle a few more on there. Okay. Now, if you don't like the, the taste of really strong garlic, you can always use roasted garlic. Roasted garlic. Which you can do at home. And this is just garlic cut mm -hmm. in half with a little bit of olive oil drizzled over the top and bake in the oven. And you bake that mm -hmm. in the oven. Yep, and look how beautiful it gets all caramelized. Yes. It's very sweet. It's lovely. But we use raw garlic too. Okay. So, this dressing will last for about a week. And one nice thing about it is you can make just a little. So do you want to toss this? Surely. Okay. Okay. Look at that. You can just, yep. Oh, there's a trick. Oh, no, you had it right the first time. There you go. Okay. Good job. Okay. Yeah. So now that's ready. How that took three minutes. Yeah. And you've got salad salad. <laughs> One of the other wonderful things you can do for salad is to add other things that are really good for you. Like, um, these are golden flax seeds. Mm -hmm. They're great fiber mm -hmm. and they don't have a strong taste, but adding them in is just another health benefit. And uh, So if you want to add fiber to, to your diet, salad is, is of course good, mm -hmm. uh, but you can also add flax seeds. And, mm -hmm. and flax seed. Where does one find these? Those are just in bulk at the health food store. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good so to know. Easy and delicious. So we're going to move on to another salad that's really delicious, very easy to make, and great for the fall. Okay. And it's an apple broccoli salad. Sorry, that's in your way. I'm sure. just going to grab me that bowl. Uh, yes. This is a bowl. <laughs> and there's some broccoli. And we've just chopped the broccoli. broccoli. So that I like to say when you have salad, it, the, the size of each piece should be a little bit smaller than what would fit through a golf ball. Then somebody doesn't have salad hanging out of their mouth. So Okay, the golf ball rule. Golf ball. Exactly. Very good. Okay. And then when you have broccoli and you have the stems, you can always chop up the stems or mm -hmm. you can shred them. Shred them. And that's another wonderful element, textural element to the salad. Right. Okay. So we're going to put so that. So this is all broccoli, but some of it are florets and some yep. are chunks and some are shredded pieces. Yes. Okay. Yes. And we're going to add a little bit of edamame, which are soybeans. Soybeans. And why, why are they not called soybeans? Uh, they just sound fancier when oh, you call it edamame. Sort of like Dijon. That's right. Exactly. Right. You got it. You got it. And we've got a few raisins, oh, raisins. here. I now you could use dried cherries. Or you could chop up some apricots. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All sorts of wonderful dried fruits are, are so tasty in the fall. And then I'm going to make a little dressing here from okay. some mayonnaise. You can come okay, closer. Now. Don't step All back. Right. So some mayo, a little lemon juice, maple syrup. Real maple syrup. Real maple syrup. And we're going to stir this up together. Okay. Now you can add fresh garlic to this yes. or some roasted garlic to this. And I'm going to just show you that you can take a little bit of this roasted garlic. Uh huh. And watch this. When you, okay. when you take the, the husk of the garlic, it's just this beautiful, soft, wonderful pulp. And it's sweet because uh -huh. it's caramelized. But the wrapper doesn't. Go in. Just, nope. the, just the little pieces just there the little of pieces, the okay. cloves of garlic. And you mash those up with your whisk and stir that up. Now, to the salad here, you can add Granny Smith apple mm -hmm. if you like it, or sure. you could add some 
some sunflower seeds. You want to sprinkle those in? Yes. You're doing a good job. Thank you. <laughs> and you feel confident to stir? St sure. Okay. Why don't you stir that around and Is I'll this? chop up some apples. Uh, there, there's a little spatula right okay. there for you. Either end? Either end. Oh. We use the other end for the dressing. Okay. So. Good. And one, one trick for cutting apples quickly yes. is to stand them up and cut down the side of where the core is. Uh-huh. And you can cut them up really fast. Very good. Just into little chunks, and we'll put those chunks right in. Oh, doesn't it smell good? It smells, it smells marvelous. I'm exhausted. <laughs> no, this is, this is really very easy. Look at that. How long have you been cooking? Oh, since I was about three. Really? Mm, my mom was always so good about letting me cook and, and experiment in the kitchen, and it, it really makes such a difference to have time to play. Sure. Mm -hmm. Part of my allowance as a child depended upon my not going into the kitchen. I got more <laughs> if I stayed out. This is great. Well, now you can go back into the kitchen because you know how to make these two salads. Yes. And easy. And you can impress your friends. <laughs> Shock my friends. <laughs> That's okay. But yes, yes, this it's is It's all grand. good. This is really good. This just looks wonderful. And it's done. You, you can taste it. We just won't use that spoon again. All right. Hmm, ambrosia, delicious. Excellent. Now, we put on this wonderful cooktop mm -hmm. some potatoes to cook. Those are potatoes. Those, Those are, are potatoes. main potatoes. Yes, they? they are. And we're going to mash up these potatoes that have just boiled. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, and we're going to make some potato soup. All right, now I want to ask you um, about the importance of, of the cooking surface. Mm -hmm. uh, Lowe's, as I said, put together this fabulous uh, set for us, and this is a, a real working because they do the installation. They go to people's homes. You can purchase it there, and they'll install it. I don't know that they'll come cook for you, but it'd be <laughs> grand if they would. Um, but this is an induction cooktop. Mm -hmm. as, a, as a chef, as a cook, do you find this really useful? Is this an important tool to have in the kitchen, an appliance? It's, it's really amazing to have a cooktop that heats so quickly mm -hmm. and is actually so safe. Because you, oh, it's making a little noise at me now. Uh, this will boil water in the space of 90 seconds. 90 I'm told. seconds, yep. And it cooked these potatoes really mm -hmm. quickly. So, but you can actually put your hand on the surface, and it will not burn you. Yeah, not hot. Unless, of course, you're wearing a ring. No, not hot. But it, I don't, not not gold though. It has to be magnetic. Has to be magnetic. The the, the uh, cooking the cookware you use has to be magnetic. So. Uh, you test your cookware to make sure that it will work, and you did that. I did. I had a little refrigerator magnet, and I went around and I made sure that the pots I brought today were okay. all steel. All right. Well, let's take a break, and then we will come back, and we are going to do potato leek soup. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Cynthia, stay with us. We'll be right back. There's no place like Hollywood. From the newest slots to blockbuster jackpots and all the excitement you can handle. This is where you're in the spotlight. You're the star. A place where the action never stops and the night is always young. Hollywood, the name says it all. Spectrum Generations. Live healthy. Live well. Get answers. Get connected. Spectrum Generations. Specializing in the art of aging. Life should be celebrated. It's a special day when family and friends gather together to celebrate the life of a loved one. A celebration of life helps us honor our loved one and keep our memories alive. Whether you're planning a traditional funeral, a creative celebration of life, or a blend of both, 
At Knowlton Hewins Roberts, we are truly committed to meet the personal and unique needs of you and your family. Knowlton Hewins Roberts. Visit us online or visit our two locations in Augusta and Winthrop. We're back. We're cooking, and uh, this is Cynthia Finnamore Simons. I'm still Dot Freeman, and we have already made salad. We are now going to make we are now going to make soup, and then we're going to have a wonderful dessert. So, Cynthia, take it away. This is a very very easy uh, potato leek soup, and you can use scallions or leeks. You can add in. What's the difference? What's a leek exactly? A leek is a For type of. For those who don't know, it's a type of onion. It's very large. Uh, it looks like a gigantic scallion, and a scallion looks like a baby leek. Okay. So when I use the scallions, we use the green and the white. Yes. We use leeks, just the white. Just the white. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we've got the potato cooked in here. Main potatoes. Absolutely. I was just up north last weekend at the Maine Potato Blossom Festival, mm -hmm. and it was a wonderful, wonderful event in the fall that people can go to and see how potatoes are grown. Is there any time better for cooking than fall in Maine? Do you have a preferred season, or are they all special in their own way? I love eating seasonally, and I love um, CSAs. Do you know what a CSA? No community supported agriculture, like the main farm share, elder farm share yes, program. Yes, yes, tell us about that. They have a program where the uh, folks who are in your audience can order a share of a farm. So they pay the farmer ahead of time, mm -hmm. and then they get bits of boxes of fresh vegetables all oh, summer wonderful, long. Wonderful. It's a fantastic so the program. the main farm share program, mm -hmm. and do they have a website, do you know? They, uh, if you go to the Department of Agriculture, there's a link there for okay. the... Okay, so main.gov, mm -hmm. and go to the agricultural link, and that will take you to the main farm share. Check it out. So we've got our scallions and potatoes in here, mm -hmm. and we're going to add a little bit of garlic, because everything's better with garlic, and a little shallot. All right a pinch of salt. That's very big salt, isn't it? Yeah, it's wonderful Maine sea salt. Sea salt. And what is the difference between sea salt and salt salt? This is actually salt that comes from these wonderful Maine companies, like Maine Sea Salt Company, and they have, it looks like big greenhouses, ah. and they're little shallow ponds of seawater, and they evaporate, the old style, evaporate the seawater, sure. and what's left over is the sea salt. And is this healthier than other kinds of salt? It's less salty tasting, oh. but it has, um, it's sort of like wine. There are other flavors that come into it mm -hmm. that are just delicious. And so just if, if somebody's watching their the salt content in their diet, either because of hypertension, diabetes, or some other health concern, good stuff. Absolutely. And when okay. you're adding it yourself, mm -hmm. you can put in exactly what you want. And you could actually add it in after, so you put it on the top of your bowl of soup, and that way you're getting only what you taste. Okay, and a wonderful texture. Mm-hmm. Yep, and you can actually put that in a grinder if you wanted oh, to. Oh, sure. So I've put in some, some uh, chives and parsley. And what are chives? Chives are an oniony herb that grows in the garden. Can you smell? Yes, it is. And they just grow like that. And when they go to seed, they have these wonderful little purple blossoms that look like clover. Mm -hmm. And you can pick those off and, and separate them, and they're, they're very peppery. Really? Good on a salad. How exciting. So we're going to put this chicken stock into our potato soup. Now, you could use heavy cream. Heavy cream. You could use milk. But this is a little healthier. A little healthier. A little healthier. Yeah. And does chicken stock, uh, you, can, you can buy a can or a box of chicken stock, mm -hmm. or you can make your own chicken stock, right? Right, and you can buy low sodium chicken stock, and mm -hmm. when you make your own, you can certainly make it with low salt. And I know a lot of people have to pay attention to the sure. sodium intake. Well, I, I wanted to, to tell you and, and actually get a little <coughs> bit of your feedback. Um, at Spectrum Generations, as, as you know, we uh, have the Meals on Wheels program in senior nutrition across central Maine. And uh, each year we do about 300,000 meals. Mm -hmm. And we have a new program that just received national funding from the Walmart Foundation and Meals on Wheels of the so Association of America, a uh, $50,000 grant and some other grants coming in, where we will now use main grown food products Yay! in Meals on Wheels. So 
from the, the, from the fields of, of Maine farms to the plates of Maine seniors, this same kind of healthy, healthy food, mm -hmm. fresh. Yeah, and fresh is always better. Sure, the and we should support our own locally grown agricultural products as well Yep. and spend our dollars here in Maine. So. Absolutely. So we've got some, some cream cheese we're going to put in here. All right. Have you ever cream used? Cheese. Cream cheese. Cream cheese. Okay. Yep. And this is a low-fat cream cheese I put in. Okay. But you could use uh, mascarpone cheese or regular cream cheese. Now, we're going to... You want to try it? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so you just put it down on top of a potato, and then yep, push a little bit, and then yep, push, 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 push. <laughs> Do you just stab them? Yep, just stab it and push it down. Oh. So you could use a regular potato masher to do this. Oh, but, but where this would be is, the fun? This is kind of fun. You feel There's good about nothing, that? I, I'm feeling very good about myself. Okay. and my ability to cook. This is great. <laughs> Women and power tools, it just is a, a natural combination. I completely agree. You're doing a great job. I'm gonna hold that so it doesn't fly. Yeah. But I'm making some dessert with the other hand over here. Okay. So we've got a little heavy cream in this pot yeah. with some milk and some unsweetened chocolate and some chocolate bits. Ah. And so we've had salad, this is soup, and we're going to have a dessert. Mm-hmm. Excellent. And once this, you're doing a great job. Really? <laughs> you smell all the fresh herbs. I do. Getting heated I through do. there. It's wonderful. Oh, try and mix in some of that creaminess there. Oh, okay. The cream cheese is especially nice if you don't use cream. Yes. Because it makes a creamier soup without sure. adding the extra fat and calories. you use low fat cream <laughs> cheese. Whoa, sorry. <laughs> It's Please all turn down the volume on your television. <laughs> this is great. I didn't think I knew how to cook until now. This is fantastic. Now you can take these recipes home and we'll, we'll make these recipes available to yeah. you and to your viewers. Now my personal theory has always been that if it involves three or more steps, that's cooking, whether or not heat is involved. But I'll bet you really feel that an oven and a wonderful Induction, Induction cooktop. cooktop is a good thing. <laughs> and people can go to Lowe's to find out more about those. Mm -hmm. What is it like to, I mean, you must have cooked on, I'm done now. You're done. <laughs> um, I mean, you must have done a lot of different ranges and stoves and, and campfires to cook, cook food. Oh, I see. We're just um, but what, what's it like with some of this high tech stuff? Does it work well for you or do you have to adjust your style of cooking? It is so much fun. It's like having a new toy in the kitchen. And, and you know, I, I'm, I'm a person who thinks that a few good tools in the kitchen are great and you don't need every single gadget. Right. But having a new toy like this kind of stovetop makes the cooking process so much right. easier. So you did a great job. So you can leave this really chunky if you want it. You can yeah. mash it smooth. Okay. The blender will, will uh, smooth it out quite a lot more. And you did a fantastic job with that. And then we're going to add some cheese. You want to put the cheese in here? Sure. The whole thing. Okay. <laughs> Good job. There we go. Without hesitation. That was wonderful. Yep. All right. You want to stir this while yes, I do that? I do. Chocolate. I'm going to grab these eggs behind you. Okay. We're going to put eggs in the soup. Nope. We're going to put eggs in the dessert. Oh, good. I was a little confused there for a moment. I should have been clear. So we, <laughs> we've got some... some uh, vanilla here and we've got some whole eggs and some egg yolks. Uh-huh. How many eggs do we have? We have 10 eggs all together. 10 were used. 10 eggs. Eight yolks and two whole eggs. Okay. And we're going to whisk them up and this is called tempering the eggs because we're basically making a chocolate pot de creme which is like a chocolate custard. Okay. And we're going to take some of this hot chocolate mixture and we're going to pour it into the eggs. I'm not sure how viewers can so see this So this is going best. to cook the eggs while they're in the bowl? Exactly. See, look at that. It's almost custardy already. You stir it really fast. We have food and a chemistry lesson all in one. <laughs> there is, there's a lot of chemistry in, in cooking and temperature and 
figuring out which place. Do you experiment or do you work from recipes? I've always thought of recipes as kind of a crutch. What's your philosophy about oh, that? There, I think there are two kinds of people who cook. I think there are folks who really enjoy experimenting and there are folks who really enjoy using a recipe. Mm -hmm. and, and neither one is wrong. Okay. Yep. Now, for I, I'm kidding about this about this being a crutch. I think that the, the recipes are, are are wonderful, and I want to make sure everybody remembers that um, Cynthia's books are available through uh, Down East, and you can go to downeast.com and look at the books and magazines online. But it's main desserts, main soups and Maine's fresh salads. Mm -hmm. These are wonderful, wonderful. They're beautifully uh, photographed as, as well as having a number of uh, menus and recipes inside them so that you can make traditional Maine lobster salad and then hearty soups. Um, and you really walk people through. But even on this dessert, they're 96. Uh, this will get you through a fresh dessert every day for three months, which Makes makes it makes it possible to survive the winter in Maine, or once a week for almost two years. Oh, even better, even better. So I just put some mascarpone cheese in this yes. this dark chocolate custard, and once that's melted, this is done. And and this will be a it's a custard. Called, it's called a dark chocolate pot de creme, which is just a French way of saying custard. It's like pudding. Okay, okay. Just a really rich pudding, and as it cools, it'll thicken, and. We've made a whole meal. We certainly have. Now you have children that they also know how to cook. I understand that your son makes a very awesome uh, uh, sandwich and your daughter makes an awesome pizza. Yes. Um, how, how young do you think children can learn to, to assist or to actually create awesomeness in the kitchen? Uh, I think that, that they should start cooking as soon as they can sit on the counter and hold a whisk. Mm -hmm. How about the cleaning up? Oh, that's part of holding the whisk. You hold the sponge in the other hand. I so. see. I see. <laughs> Wonderful. So, um, what what tips do you have for people just to jump in and do this and not be frightened of it? I think that any time you can get in the kitchen, you can use an ingredient that's as close to its original form. So, you use a potato that looks mm -hmm. like a potato, not a box. Mm -hmm. Use a piece of cheese that looks like a piece of cheese, not a powder. Right. Every time you do that, you're taking a step further towards being healthy right. and when you're healthy you're happier and you live a better life. Tell us about your show, Fresh to... F Fresh to Flavorful. Flavorful. Yep, yes. it's a, a food story cooking magazine show. So we go behind the scenes, we go to the farms and the specialty food producers and we show people where their food come from, comes from, we take them into the kitchen and we cook delicious meals Terrific. just like we did today with And this you. is on Maine Public Broadcasting mm -hmm. and is there a website? There is freshtoflavorful.com. And how about YouTube? Uh, yes, on YouTube as well, Fresh to Flavorful channel. Okay, so do you encourage people in Maine to get out to the farmer's markets and, and see where their food is coming from? Absolutely. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this has been a real treat for me. I'm Dot Freeman, this is Mature Lifestyle, Cynthia Finnamore simon see you next time, bye-bye. Mature Lifestyle is made possible by Hollywood Slots of Bangor, where every player's a star and by Knowlton Hewins Roberts Funeral Homes and Cremation Service. Our homes are warm and welcoming, and we take care of you and your family like we would our own. Call us anytime. We are here for you. TWC TV, only on Time Warner Cable.